Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jawoolly5 doing a video review on the Asus Transformer Prime with the ice cream sandwich update. Does it have ice cream sandwich? Let's see. Oh yes it does. How can you tell? Well, because now it has a camera. I'll slide, you can slide and it opens up the camera or you can slide and it unlocks it. I'll slide and open up the camera. See how long that takes. Quite long. I do have the iPhone 4S so I'm used to quick draws on the camera but um all right let's go ahead and go back i don't really care about the camera too much and then the other side is the unlock and we can view all the beautiful wonderful apps that are on ice cream sandwich well really honeycomb but ice cream sandwich all right uh some nice smooth transitions you can also obviously see all the water how the effects are that was even before ice cream sandwich but um Hopefully everything will be even better on this one. Um, I do have to say that, let's see, where's it at? Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I got a benchmark I'm gonna show you. Oh, as you can see, look, transition comes from the back to the front. Instead of from side to side, you can see it coming up. Ooh, it's creeping, there it goes, boom. Next one, all right. Um, I'm gonna do Antutu benchmark for those that would like to know the scores on this beast. Uh, I actually already did the Antutu benchmark on it, and the score is 9,821 um, with the CPU frequency at 1600 megahertz, which is actually fairly high. I didn't think it was going to be that high. Um, I thought it was only 1.2 gigahertz, so right now it's saying that it's uh, 1.6 gigahertz, or yeah, 1.6 gigahertz, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't do much with Antutu benchmark, I just did that so that you guys know the score on it. You can take that and do what you want with the information. Um, you know what, for people that do want to see the camera, let's go back to the camera. Yes, you can access it. Don't show this crap again. Stop showing me this. Um, you can access a whole bunch of different things. You can zoom in and zoom out. So going from the negative, obviously that's zooming out, to the positive, zooming in. Uh, let's see if I can turn on light. Yeah, there we go. So you can turn on the light. Oh, I guess it only stays on for a little bit. But anyways, um, you can do a lot of cool things with the actual camera. I'll let you guys look at that a little bit later. I don't really care about it. Uh, I don't use this for cameras. I got my own camera. Uh, GL Benchmark. I can say that I used to run GL Benchmark on the old ASUS Transformer and even on this ASUS Prime. But um, it will not run the 2.1 Egypt, Egypt off screen that I always run on the actual tablet that I had. So I hit start, I hit OK, and it does nothing. As you can see, it just sits there, and it's got little squiggly lines at the bottom, and it doesn't come up. So obviously something's going on with compatibility from the honeycomb to ice cream sandwich. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same as Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, I don't know how to resize your apps, but I'm sure that I'll figure that out going through settings. Um, and I can do any other video requests that you guys have. Um, YouTube, let's see what YouTube has to offer. I haven't even opened this app yet. Um, and as you can see in the background, I don't know if, if you really can see it, but there's actually, whenever, here, Let's go ahead and scroll through this. Uh, smooth, smooth little transition from one part of the YouTube to the next. So it looks really good. Um, but let's go back to the issue I was just going to talk about. And that is something that you cannot see. But anyways, you can see the image. Like this, the image of the clock stays there if on a black screen. So if I were to turn it to a black screen, let's see if Antutu can show it usually can see the outline of the clock and it'll just be there. You can see it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it. Yeah, I can see it on here. Just a little bit, the outline of the clock. Um, I don't know if that's an issue with the screen or what, but my brightness is not that high, as you can see. It's uh, actually really low, and if I put it on auto, it goes even lower. Um, but I don't like it that low. It's too, too low. Um, that's pretty much it with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. I just wanted to kind of show you that Ice Cream Sandwich is here. Um, I thought I was going to get it on the 12th, but I actually 
surprisingly got it today whenever I got home. I saw that it said update, so I hit update. And there it is. So uh, you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, just go ahead and uh, YouTube it to me or leave a comment down below and I will uh, answer them best as possible. If you guys got anything you want me to run that you see on my benchmark, like any games or anything that you want to see run on it, uh, just let me know and I'll do my best to uh, put a video up of all those requests that you ask of me. Alright, this is Jawwilly5 doing the video review of the Asus Transformer Prime with the Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 update. Jawwilly5 out of here.